right, so y'all are not familiar with this palette. Please be familiar with her because she's absolutely beautiful. This is going to be my second time using this gorgeous color story by DD Signature. I'm so here for it. All right, um, I kind of want to do a simple look, but of course, yeah, a green look. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. And let's go in with the shade right here. I know I used it the first time, but I really, really like the shade because it's a really beautiful, like kind of, I think it's a brown. My mind says it's a brown, so it's a brown. So I'm just gonna take that shade. And yes, I'm making it very bold and obvious right now, <clears throat> but I will blend it out and make it a little bit softer. But we're just gonna take the shade and place it all over the crease. And as you can see, I'm getting a little bit softer in this area like I'm not going to build that color up that much I just want that true deepness towards the outer all right so I'm going to take the same color um, and I'm going to mix it with a little bit of this lavender Kind of like make it tap it lighter than what it's supposed to be, you know. So let's take that, and of course, I'm using a different, you know, style of brush to make the shade a lot softer. Yeah, we just want to pretty much just blend up that crease section. I don't want any harsh lines. And I do have my brow bone um, highlight on. I like to always say that even if you're like, like Nisha we know. <laughs> but it just, sometimes I be getting like new people so I feel like I have to always repeat myself, so. So I'm just getting right up in that little crease area right here in the front. Really want to make sure that is really blended out. And right now, I'm just gonna grab just a purple by itself. So I really want to make this really soft right here in the inner. And then I'll go back with the mix towards the outer. And then the brush that I'm using is a nice small little crease blending brush. This is gonna be my Morphe 51 four brush. Look at that darling. Such a big difference, right? So I want to do a little something different. I do want to add this green. Matter of fact, let me swatch it before I... Oh my gosh. This is like a holographic style of green. Gorgeous. But I want to switch up and kind of make it a little bit more deeper than what it probably would have, you know, appear on my eye. I'm gonna take a little bit of this color pencil by Colourpop. <clears throat> and it's just a black gel pencil. But what I'm gonna do is apply this on the eyelid. And being that this is a gel, it's kind of creamy. Y'all, I didn't mix the shades already. <laughs> no. All right, let me try this again. Let me, that's why it's important to clean your fingers. But let me take that black base. Now it's kind of hard to see it because I didn't mix it with this freaking green. But I'm going to take that black base. And now I'm going to take that green and pop it on my actual eyelid. So pretty. It definitely has. I don't know if the camera's going to capture it. Look at that. So pretty. The way this green just popped on my lid, oh my gosh, I was not prepared. I was prepared, but not 
Like this is, okay, this came out so cuter than what I had expected. So I'm gonna get, I'm gonna grab a flat brush. This is my Morphe 124. And I'm just gonna get it in the areas where I couldn't reach with my finger. Kind of make sure I have it nicely blended out with this purple. And then with no added product or the brown brush. And then I'm just gonna take the brush I used to apply the brown. That's looking more like purple now. I don't know if this is a real brown or not. Look, I just know she's cute, okay. But we're just taking that and then softening it up in her right here. So gorgeous, so gorgeous, darling. All right, I'm gonna take a little bit of that brown purple. I don't know what to call it now. And I just place it towards the outer. This is so pretty. Okay, let me quickly do a wing and I'll be right back. I decided just to record my face because I'm like, I'm still sitting here at the desk, so I'm like, whatever. I know you guys have probably seen me do the same routine all this week um, because that's what products I picked up for Shop My Stash, so. Anywho, and plus y'all get to see this foundation being used so many different times. So yes, I have it on and y'all can also tell my skin clearing up i'm so happy i'm back to my routine i don't know why i switched up i don't know why <laughs> but yes um so i just put that on with my remo um the remo primer so right now i'm just blending out my Too Faced concealer and i want to give where's that freaking blush i'm gonna give her another try i know i know i just want to see what she looks like with a liquid underneath so I have a feeling that it's not going to be the same because it's so ashy, but I like to give all hopes and things a try, so yeah. These two combos though, because I've been wanting to switch it, but I'm like, uh-uh. Uh-uh, this concealer is perfect with this foundation. They're like the perfect duo. You know how you can find a good concealer, but a one that really goes with a particular foundation? That's what I feel like for today. Like I'm scared to switch up and use a different concealer because I feel like these two, oh, look at the blend. They look so beautiful together. And now my nose plugged up. Perfect. All right, so this shade is called Gorge Orange. I don't really use this this, this often, I don't think. The only thing about these blushes is that they're very um, not matte, you know? So if you're not into like a shimmery, glowy blush, then I would say not get these. Because that's exactly, darling, what they do. And this is also good for my natural girls. They give you just the lightest coverage right there. And I like how easy they blend out. Because sometimes I be going really, really heavy handed with my blush. So I'm going to add a little bit more. My little second coating. I'm going to let that dry down just a tad bit though. Um, let's do a tad bit of liquid contouring. So I'm going to take my sponge. You can see it's stained. <laughs> this thing is stained y'all. I didn't clean it so many times and this 
blush don't come out. And it's not just from this blush either. It's from all my blushes that I use. I use the sponge and it's okay because I know it's clean. I wash it. So. Alright, now let's blend out this contour. I have a feeling even with this liquid blush here, I have a feeling this is still not going to do anything because this, this is not orange. Y'all see this? Like, what y'all see right here is what the color is. Like, this is not giving the same color. Like, this is so, so weird. Like, it's not the same. Wow, man. All right, I'm going in with the same old, same old. Actually, no. I'm gonna switch up my powder just a little bit. I'm gonna go in, what is this one? This is, do I wanna do almond? No, no I don't. I want my brightness. We're gonna do my caramel and then I'm gonna have Maybelline for the rest of the face. Yeah, that's what we'll do. I was supposed to go to Target yesterday, but I'm definitely going to go with it today because um, there's been some rumors about Beauty Bakery and I just pray it's not true because it's a really, really good brand. Some say that she's um, trying to sell everything out because she's going to reformulate things. I don't know where they got that memo from. I don't know who videos watching on TikTok, but that's what they said. And then some say that she might be secretly going out of business and I just pray that's not the case because like I said I really really like her stuff her setting powder is really like yeah like I can't see why people are not like buying her stuff especially when she just came out with that pink powder as a matter of fact I think I'm just gonna put an order in with her and see if there's any blushes I mean blushes powders left because I want, dang I put too much, <laughs> I want the pink one. I'm gonna get a pink one a go from her line because I really like the Huda Cherry Blossom one. So yeah, I just really pray it's not true though. The way this face is giving and I haven't even set the rest of the face. The rest of the face. <clears throat> Look at that y'all. Look at this. Oh my skin. This is just crazy y'all. From the first time I used this foundation. This has literally only been two days. Two days, I cleared my face back up. Two days. I really was trying to stick with the, um, that product I bought, I forgot the brand. It's Urban RX, yes, Ur Urban RX is what I bought. Um, and then again, it might not have been that, I think it's just because I took two of the main things that I use constantly on my face and I took them out of my skincare routine and try to add you know new things in my skin it was just like no nah, like no nah. you can switch up your moisturizer you can switch up your serum cleanser maybe in the mornings but that nighttime routine leave it alone <laughs> is what my skin was like saying so i'm listening i am definitely listening and those pimple patches definitely work too because that's what I put on both of these areas because I kept exfoliating them and cleansing them and like I could touch them and I was like there's something definitely in them and I didn't want to squeeze it because I know if I squeeze especially with it not being you know a head and owner to um, squeeze 
I knew I was going to make it a lot more puffier. So I didn't do that. So I kept using the pimple patches and they will work like a little bit. But um, I don't know what made me look um, at Ulta and see if they had like any other option for the pimple patches. But they had a deep blemish. And I was like, oh, this is probably what I need because, you know, my bumps are a little bit more deeper. They're not just sitting on the top of my face like they're like... I can feel them like they're really deep into my um, my skin. So I put those on y'all and yeah, they suck whatever yucky yuck was in it. I'm so happy I have my skin back, yes, okay. Uh, let me quickly do a bronze. We're bronzing, darling. I'm gonna bronze with the clarity. Hope I'm not being disgusted talking about my acne problem, but I just wanted to share it just in case someone else is having a problem. I do have pro acne skin, so which is crazy because I don't break out easily. I just I, when I have my moments, it's like I need to pay attention to why it's breaking out. You know, all right, here we go. Moment of truth. Here we go for the for this blush. Jesus, Jesus. Even with the liquid, I still don't see it. Even with the liquid, I still. Y'all see it on tripping? No. Okay. Adding another coating on. Third one. Yeah, I tried. I really tried with this one. But I think she will look really pretty on someone who has a lighter complexion than mine. I can actually see her, but like I said, is it worth like the price? I mean, trying to make this work. Cause like NYX came out with the, the little Barbie one that has like the orange and pink. Let me show you what this orange one does. And this one looks more ashier than the rim, but no, wait, wait a minute. Okay. You can see her a lot better than the actual look. Why is she showing up more? And this is a little I forgot how much this little trio was, but it's drugstore, okay? Drugstore is serving more than this high-end brand. No, that's crazy. So, yeah. So, this was official, y'all. Y'all won't see this blush again. <laughs> She's going back. I'm going to put her back in the box. She is going back. I did like the pink one, though. I know she's going to be even more beautiful with the um with the liquid blush but she did show up by herself just very light but i approve that one but this orange one is like i know so i'm going to put this on my nose and i'm just using the nyx it's a really beautiful highlighter just add a little bit being that we got that much going on All right, let's zoom back in and finish up the eyes. So I'm going back in with the ColourPop and let's pop it at the bottom. Kind of really want to make my bottom more of a smoky effect. So I think I'm going to do that. That glided on very nicely today. All right, and of course going in with that brown. Alright, so I'm gonna give you guys a lip combo. Um, and the lashes I have on, these are my lashes I've been like really wearing for like the whole entire week. I think these are the lashes, or either I'll put them in this box. But it was from a Instagrammer, and these are called Exclusive. And I really think these are lashes that 
came in this box. I think I were looking for these lashes for the longest. I thought I had lost them and somehow they just appeared in my, out of my, um, out of nowhere. And these were like my go-to lashes. I don't think she sell lashes anymore. I wish she did because I was trying to get me another pair of these. I really was. And she was supposed to restock them, but she never did. But these are so pretty. But I got some other, um, some more lashes coming that hopefully you guys were, um, hopefully I would like first and then I'll put you guys on. But I got them off of Amazon. These are Amazon and Shein. I got something coming from one of them people. So for my lips, I'm going to go in with the Kylie uh, Lip Pencil. And then I think I'm going to go in with the Fenty Cream in the shade Mauve Wives. And I'll probably put an extra gloss on top. Matter of fact, let me grab that now. Yeah, I'll probably put an extra gloss on top with the Maybelline. I think that's going to be my lip combo. Alright, I'm gonna add something else, which I'll probably should do, but I'm seeing that this color is not really showing the way I want it to show, so I'm gonna add a little bit more of actual. of um, pigmentation. Kind of like the same color, right? Camera focus. Yeah, so they're kind of like the same color. So this is more like a gloss and this is gonna be more of a lipstick form. And this is by Life Lamp called High End. So I'm gonna add the actual color I want it on my lips. Okay, there we go, it's a little bit more pink. So I'm not gonna go in with that Maybelline then because I have enough gloss going on. All right, let me pop on something to wear to kind of zoom you guys out to give you guys this full beat we did, yes. All right, so here is the complete and final look. I love this palette, y'all. What did Dee Dee do to me? <laughs> Didi's quality is so amazing. I just love this freaking green. But the more I look at my eyes, I still can't tell if this is a brown or a purple. Whatever color she is, she's really pretty. I'm going to add some more gloss because the more that I let my lips dry down, it was not glossy no more. So, I'll add a little bit more gloss. There you go. There you go. Yeah, I'm over the top. Oh, look at my lips. Look at the bling. I want to see my reflection in my lips, okay? But yes, here's the look. I hope you guys enjoyed today's tutorial. I hope you guys just enjoyed the whole everything. I hope you guys give this look a try, especially if you're into boat looks. I'm giving you that. And as for everything else, we know we're taking this back to the market. She is going back. I do not like that blush at all. And um, yeah, I think I'm gonna do a little bit of shopping today. So y'all see that on my vlog, but I need to pick up some new things. I know, do I need anything new? But today's the actual first day of the semi-annual sale. So don't know when you guys will see this, but yeah, today's the first day. So I think I might pick up one thing I'm eyeing. I told myself if it's not at the store, sold out, then it's not meant for me, but yeah. Cause it's not an important thing i just want to try it out so yeah <laughs> well on that note you guys have a beautiful day stay blessed stay amazing and i'll see you guys tomorrow bye <laughs>